guess the smallest term, Ron Bass, is just a young guy from Brooklyn um, with an artistic mind who's uh, wanting to share his art with the world. The Ron Bass collection um, consists of right now um, just a few headpieces that I um, kind of started on. So headwear and accessories um, right now going into spring, um, doing some bow ties, headwear, things like that. The first person um, to wear uh, a piece that I made um, was Jay-Z. And then Beyonce, you know, I got a, a private call from the stylist and Beyonce requesting some things. So I was able to make some personal things for her. A friend of mine, Styles Rita Ora, and he requested something and Cara D. And I have many inspirations. Um, artistically, um, as you may see, um, Jim Michelle Basquiat, he was the one that kind of introduced me, reintroduced me to art. I gravitated more towards his artistic style, um, tying it into what I, you know, known as a kid artistically. And that's kind of where I'm at with it today. When I discovered uh, Jean Michel, it was like trying to put that what I was going through on canvas. With the whole ideas of you know adding um, artwork to the wearable items, it kind of like to me it was it was getting boring to just paint on canvas. So it's like now how do I take it to another level where my pieces can be seen every day? My love for do it yourself again um, comes from my mom um, growing up. Uh, just seeing her put together anything. I remember um, third grade uh, picture day, and um, she, uh, I didn't have a bow tie. So she took the scissors, cut her uh, silk, red silk nightgown, and she's like doing stuff around her neck, and then she's like, come here, boy, and she wraps it up and makes this quick bow tie. When you have an idea, I don't think you, well, for me, I never, set how big it would be. I just knew I wanted to do something. I knew I was going to do it. And that was all I focused on. The fact that it's reached where it's reached and, you know, the accolades that come behind it, I'm just blown away myself. I was able to create a collection for a store out in Japan. And for them to reach out to me and just say, create whatever, we just want it. Like, no direction, no anything. We'll take it. Just make it. You know, the, one of the greatest things is to be able to produce something you know, go to sleep and wake up and, you know, you see that your things are being ordered, like, that feeling, I, I, is, even those things I still can't grasp. And I'm branching out, introducing some things that I've always wanted to do, um, design furniture, things like that. Um, I'm going to do a big art show coming up in about two months or so. My goal one day would be able to, like, you know, do some type of uh, collaboration with let's say like a Toyota and I would do like the inside of the car or the outside just like some kind of funky thing uh, or the inside of the trunk a uh, limited edition kind of that's kind of where I want to move you know with it and as it grows so that's kind of like my plans future plans and I'm not gonna stop until I, <laughs> until I reach it I just hope that you can continue to support me and watch me grow and help me grow because without you I, I really really wouldn't be where I'm at and I really can't say thank you enough um, and I, I humbly say I humbly say thank you.